Okay, so here in Xcode, you can just delete what we previously typed, as always, and then here we go. We're going to start off with the defines, and remember that at the end of these statements, we don't actually need to put a semicolon because they're not actually an Objective C statement. So I'm just going to name the first one a define int, and then you don't have to actually assign it with an equal sign, you just put the number there. So then pound define again, uh, define float, and that will be 42.00. Now we're going to go into the other constant, which is const, and then you just declare it as usual after the const part, so a const int, assign 24 to this one, const float, const float, equals 0.15 and then we're going to do a little ns log now so the first one is a define int uh, equals percent i then a define int and then whoop, little type other okay then the other one a define float equals percent i and actually for this one it's not percent i uh, misspoke there it's percent but we you have to choose how many decimals we want with that point two and then the float so we haven't done that in quite a few lessons but uh, just remember that part Okay, now since we're all done with the defines, we're going to go into the const. So ns log, and then uh, const int equals percent i uh, const int, and then the other ns log uh, const float equals then the same thing as before 0.2 f a const float okay now we're going to do a little bit of testing out with a few things we're going to do a const to see if it really if you really can't change the value because of course yeah I said it but can you really does it really not change so we're going to assign a const float, we're going to add a const float plus 0.85 and then reassign it back to const float. So we did this in one of the first lessons and then ns log uh, const float plus 0.85 equals uh, percent to or point two f comma a const flute. There you go. And now we're gonna do um, we're gonna make a little tax rate. So we're gonna make a float and call it tax. And then we're going to assign $12 times the tax rate, which is a const float, like I said in the lesson, as I use that as an example. And then the tax equals per, uh, percent to F, and then tax. So we're going to see how it works to do a little bit of math with the constants. And then, of course, I did go over uh, how to display those kind of awkward symbols in an NS log. So here we have A, and I want to do a double quote inside this double quote. So you do the slash, the uh, backslash, uh, whoops, and then you do the quote. So the quote will be displayed. Now I want to put a backslash, so you do two backslashes. And then back slash with double quotes. 
and let's say so I want to end these quotes here and I want to put it on another line so on two lines and then you can close that out with a semicolon so let's uh, build and run save all and I am expecting an error because it says an assignment of a read only variable a const float so if we close this out you see right here of course this uh, little yield sign and uh, you know exactly where the error is so when you're using a constant and you make an error it's very easy to find because it tells you right there and right where it is so um, I'm trying to do an addition to a constant so of course that wouldn't work as we know so I'll just comment these two lines of code out so that's one of the advantages of using constants like I said before because if you didn't know you actually didn't leave did math on a tax rate then all the ones would be wrong but the program would actually be running fine it's just what you expected to happen wouldn't be doing what you expected to happen so anyways uh, we have our define int equals 42 and our define float 42.00 nothing fancy there then our constant and our constant float we're just kind of displaying them uh, nothing too special there then we have our tax rate well we already saw that you can't add anything to a constant and we have our tax rate um, of 0.15 to the $12 so then you get what's uh, what the tax is so we're doing math with some constants and then we have our backslash uh, on two lines oh and why this uh, we have our backslash here or I mean our quotation our backslash and then our other quotations and why there's this space right here I move it over why there's this space right there is because I didn't have this all the way backed up and now if we build and run save all Okay, now it's all together on two or it's really on one line but I did it two lines in code so there it is it's just because I had those extra space in code so just remember the backslash if you want to put in any one of those three symbols so that's all for this lesson next lesson will be a wrap up and then we'll be heading in the way of object oriented programs so lots of great stuff coming up please subscribe